Hey guys, it's Katie. Today I wanted to talk about, I wanted to do a let me explain on something that I've, I'm really passionate about, I guess. And that is feminism or equality in just equality in general. I think I wanted to talk about today. As most of my friends know and people that are really close to me, I am a feminist. I'm not one of those feminists that goes on like social media and just like keeps like knocking down other people's beliefs and say and beliefs and saying that like women are better than men and all this stuff. But I'm a feminist. I really just want to explain like what feminism is to me and what it really means to be a feminist. See, feminism is the equality for everyone, or the equality for men and women, and well, everyone, because you can be a man turning into a woman, you could be anything, you could be whatever you want, but it's also the acceptance of all of that, and it's accepting yourself and basically accepting other people. Sorry, my dad had a question for me, but I'm back. So yes, what I love about what I love about this is equality and loving everyone. A dream of mine in a dream of mine to do and like to accomplish in the future. I guess I've always had a dream of becoming like a film director, like a film critic, or working in film, and I want to work in film one day. But my biggest dream is to make other people's dreams come true. I want to work in Disney one day, and I want to make other people's dreams come true, no matter what it is, because I love people. I love anyone, no matter what they are, no matter who they are, no matter what. And sure, there may be people, there may be people that I like more than others, but that doesn't mean I stop loving at some other people. Equality is just a hard thing to talk about nowadays because sure we have all these equal rights and we have all this stuff nowadays, but there's still prejudice and there's still people out in the world that want to just knock you down for whatever you want to do. Like they'll knock you down for what you wear, they're slut shaming, slut shaming for any girl even if you've never done anything. Like there's slut shaming, there is just prejudice against everyone, there's segregation still in some areas in the United States. There in the world, <laughs> there's everything, and it's so dumb to me. Why can't we just accept and love people the way that we love ourselves, or we're supposed to love ourselves? I've grown up in a very religious home, and I've always grown up knowing that you should love everyone just like you. You should love your neighbor love, like how you love yourself, or how you love your family, or your best friend. You should love everyone, and that's what I like to do in my life. I like to love everyone because you never know what someone's day is like. You never know if they're having a terrible day. You could find out that maybe someone, or that maybe like your grandpa died and you would want someone there with you when that happens. Literally, I don't understand why some people are so terrible to other people. Sure, we all have our different views and different opinions, but I think that what we need, what as a society, what we need to do is we really need to embrace each other, build each other up and not bring each other down. The beauty of the world is underneath the thick skin, and you have to be able to gain that thick skin to find the, the find the beauty underneath. And it's really hard. It's really hard nowadays to really achieve that thick skin when everyone to, to find that beauty too. When everyone else is trying to knock you down for it. For me, for instance, I'm on YouTube. I'm on the internet. I'm on all this stuff. And also, I don't dress that conservatively. I know you guys have seen. I'm not that kind of person that I want to dress conservatively because growing up I was not the skinniest child, I was not the prettiest child in the world. I wasn't anything. But then, and I was terrified so I would cover myself up. Like I would wear a one piece bathing suit to go to the pool in the mornings in the summer as a kid and wear a t-shirt over it because I was terrified of people seeing my body. I was terrified of embracing, I wouldn't embrace myself, I couldn't do it. But as I grew up. I learned more about myself and I learned that I can accept my body no matter what weight I am, no matter how short or tall I am, I'm very short, but no matter what I look like, I can embrace myself no matter what. And so that's where like my fashion sense comes in. That's where I wear like my heels and stuff and I just dress confidently because I'm not that kind of person that would, I'm not that kind of person that hides from who I am. I don't want to hide who I am anymore. I don't want to lie about who I like. I don't want to hide anymore. And I've learned like through my beliefs of equality and loving everyone that, and I've learned through myself that being myself is the best thing in the world and being yourself should be the best thing in the world too. I mean really like a rant a little bit, but I really just wanted to talk about this because yesterday was actually my birthday and through 17 years of my life now, I have learned so much about myself and I've learned so much about the world. And you see, I'm an only child. I don't have any brothers or sisters and so, I don't know, I've lived in a very feminist, feminist, I don't know, feministic I'll say, feministic um, household and stuff with my family and I've grown up with my grandmother 
who believes in equal rights and stuff and she helps children all the time and I help children and I help people and I go to charities I help I just help people I help ch children sometimes I like to go and give speeches to young children and to see to help bring them up I like people to be brought up and I've always learned that growing up and looking back at all my years of life years of living I've learned so many valuable life lessons about loving everyone and being who you are and it's stuff that I really just want to express to you guys and honestly yes I'm a feminist yes I'm a feminist but that doesn't mean that I have to be terrible to people that doesn't mean that you have to build pe you have to bring people down being a feminist means that you want equality and that you want to bring people up and all this all of these things are huge things going on in the world but I feel like if we all look deeper and actually see each other and try to be like and stop hiding underneath whatever it is we're hiding from we'll have a great society again so that's what I had for you guys today I hope you liked it and if you did comment like subscribe do whatever you want to do my social media links are below and I will see you guys later bye